Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1521. Hey, we're still talking about dynamic arrays. And this is going to be my favorite dynamic array video because we're going to see that the filter new array function in Office 365 is really a lookup function. And guess what? If we have VLOOKUP or INDEX, when we get multiple lookup values or have to return multiple return values, the lookup formulas get crazy. But filter has no problem with either one of these. Now, of course, the dynamic arrays are only in Office 365. Right now, only the Insider Edition. But by early 2019, everyone who has Office 365 will have these dynamic arrays. Now, let's just go look at the answer right off the bat. Here's a lookup value. I need to look up Fred Meyer in this column, find all of the matches, and return all the records. There they are. If I add a second condition, which in essence means we have two lookup values, I want to return the records for those two lookup values. If I get rid of Fred Meyer and only want to see that sales rep, boom, there it is. If I delete these cells, that means I want to see everything from the original data set. Now, that's only one of three examples we're going to see. Let's go over to the sheet 1521. Our first example, we want to look up Fred Meyer and return all of Fred Meyer's sales. This is how we used to do it with a lookup formula that looked up a single item and returned multiple matches. But here's all we have to do now. Equals filter the array. That's going to be the one revenue column comma. And then for to include, I highlight the customer column. And then I make a direct array operation with the operator, are you equal to whatever I put here. Close parentheses. We will look at how to use the if empty in the next example. But right now, that is amazing. That one or that one, looking something up. And if I change it to Amazon instantly, I get the sales for Amazon. One lookup value, multiple returned answers. Now, really, calling this a lookup situation or calling it filtering, they're both synonyms. But for people who do formulas throughout the decades in Excel forms, people usually refer to this as a lookup situation. But either way you slice it, look up or filtering, that is amazing. We'll go back to Fred Meyer. Now, here's the amazing example we saw at the beginning. We're going to start off with filter. And I want to return all the records. So I'm going to use my diagonal black arrow up in the left-hand corner of my Excel table, comma. And to include, since we have two conditions, I'm going to start off by open parentheses, open parentheses, customer. Are you equal to Fred Meyer? Close parentheses times. And we'll do our second condition in parentheses. Sales rep, are you equal to Yao? Close parentheses. And now we need to close that off. There we have our logical test. If we F9 this, we see it's a series of zeros and ones that will tell filter to filter that table. Control Z. Now, if there are no records to return, comma, that's where if empty comes in. I'm just going to put in double quotes, none, close parentheses, and enter. Now, that simple formula right there, two lookup values, return multiple items, is beautiful. And if you rely on data validation dropdown, which by the way, we'll see a great video 1523 a couple videos ahead. But if you rely on this and you don't ever let the cells get empty, that's the formula. And if we come up here and delete this, notice it'll tell us none because we set it up as an AND logical test. If I delete them both, it says none, Control Z, Z. But if we want our formula to do one condition, or another single condition, or both, or if the cells are empty, I want to see all the records, 
then we can amend our formula, F2. Actually, escape, because this trick I'm about to show you, I learned from Joe McDade and Roger Gover. And this is a cool trick, F2. Well, and you know what? We actually don't need these. We didn't need these before either. We didn't need those two parentheses. What we need is if that cell is empty, I somehow need to have a vertical array of ones. Otherwise, if it's not empty, then I need to run this logical test that gives me zeros and ones to pick out the correct records for that condition. So no problem. We're going to add an if to each one of these. Now on the inside of the parentheses, we're going to use is blank, which checks if a cell is empty. Close parentheses. If it is, comma, I need a huge array of vertical ones the same size as the table. That'll pick out all the records. And we get to use another great array function, sequence. Rows, that means how many rows. Well, I'm going to point this using the rows functions to any one of these columns. I'm going to pick customer. Close parentheses. Rows will just count how many rows and deliver it to sequence. How many rows do you want? Comma. We don't have any columns. Comma. The start is going to be 1. And watch this, comma. The step value is 0. Close parentheses. And comma. And now in value of true F9, there's my vertical array of 1s. Control Z. Then we have value of false. We have our close parentheses. Now I'm going to cheat and copy all of that. Control C. And in place of that parentheses, I'm going to Control V. Now I have to double click is blank because I need to check that criteria cell. And just for kicks, I'm going to highlight that and then click Sales Rep. That wasn't needed. We could have looked at any one of the columns, but that way, match up, match up, I'm happy with that. And that will do it. We have an if that will pick out a condition for customer or a vertical array of ones. And we have the second one, vertical array of ones or whatever the condition is. When I hit Enter, now watch this. When I delete this, I get just Microsoft records. Control Z, I delete this, I get just FAM. And when I delete them both, I get all of the records. Control Z, Z. And of course, if I change it to Microsoft Chantel, there it is. That is pretty amazing. Now we do have one last trick we want to see. And the question is simple. Here's some wrestlers. Here's their weights lifted. And we need to extract from that data set based on two conditions. Is the player a particular player or wrestler? And we have a hurdle. So for Buddy, we want to extract all of the date, weight lifted, and diet when the weight is greater than 250. No problem. And I did a video on this. I got this question at YouTube years ago, five, six, seven years ago, and did one of our lookup formulas to try and match these two conditions and extract the correct records. Now we just use filter. Now I only want the three columns, date, weight, lifted, and diet. Comma, and we're going to include open parentheses. The player column, are you equal to buddy? Close parentheses times, and our second condition, weight lifted. Are you greater than our hurdle? Close parentheses. If there are no records that match, and there we go. Buddy, weight lifts over 250, there they are. Over 400, buddy had none. If I select Bruno, he had two. Wow. Filter function to extract based on two conditions for some weightlifting. This awesome formula for one condition lookup, a different condition lookup, both or none of them. Please show everything. Filter is amazing. And then this is our old lookup function return multiple records or this one. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun, including about four more amazing dynamic array videos. All right, we'll see you next video.